The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, this is Billy Ray Valentine, the offices of Duke & Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we're going to start out the day a little bit differently today, folks, because we got rocking and we got rolling. I posted a chart up here of an eight-minute chart of the E-mini S&P, and I wanted to point out the fact that we had this 382 retracement. We made our low down here at uh, 3960. We rallied up to uh, 4025, down to 40 even, and then all the way up to that level right in here, folks, which was nothing more than the 61 or the 78 percent retracement of the high we made back in here. But we got a chance here, folks, for something really dramatic to get happen here in the next seven to eight days. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen. I have a rough idea, but that's basically uh, all I have is a rough idea. I want to share some other charts with you because uh, these are the types of things that we're going to be looking at when we, uh, you know, do our interday trading thing on the 17th of May. That'll be the last commercial I'll give you for today, folks. I'll spare you that thing. But here's what I posted this morning when we were uh, doing, I was doing Tommy Jr.'s show today, and I just wanted to show you the uh, the AI program that we were looking at to, to give an idea that from the low to the high, you see that was uh, well over 50 handles uh, to the upside, folks. That's what that projection was supposed to be. And as you can imagine here, I'll run up here and just just happen to be one that worked pretty good. I'll be able to show you how to do these things with a quick and dirty method, you know, back in the envelope math, and you'll be able to see it right here. But anyway, this is what we have happened now. We have, should have a rally in here and then drift lower. This, this is set up so perfectly, folks. I, I just... Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I look at it and I says, well, I know it's not this easy, but by golly, it's certainly lining up perfectly. All we, He did everything that we had to have happen. We had the lower opening on Monday, Sunday night and Monday. We had the big down move. We had a nice little snapback rally today, and that's all that was, was a snapback rally. A snapback rally nowadays is seven, 800 points in the Dow Jones, believe it or not. But we've got, we're going to have a great buying opportunity coming up in these markets uh, very, very shortly. Now, I did cover this in Tommy's show, uh, but I should cover our show here because I think it's important. This is the 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 map that I'm using at uh, as using as far as where I think the timing window is. Uh, this is something that Shane Smolian uh, also worked on. But if you'll notice here, this is the October uh, this was the October crash of 1987. The market topped on August the 25th, came down into the solar eclipse of the 23rd of September, rallied into October the 2nd, nine trading days, okay? Now, this time we had a low here on the solar eclipse on the 29th of, of um, April, then we rallied into the 5th of May. Well, if you take the relationship to what we did in 1987 to where we are now, if we take the 5th of May and add 17 days, just like you would have done, you know, back in 1987. And I recently, let me go slowly here. October the 2nd, you add 17 days, take you to October the 19th, okay? Now, if this is May the 5th and you add um, 17 days, it's going to take you to May 22nd. So that's what I'm looking at for the potential of a big bull market uh, reversal or bear market reversal and a bear market rally, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's all I'm doing. Now, this all, this all fails if we get above 4,100 in the S&P, folks. That's how, that's how sensitive it is. Before, above 4,100, it's no good. So just remind ourselves, we went to 4060 today, which was the 382 off that intermediate high we made uh, two days ago. And then we came back down. We dropped another. We were 60 handles up, 60 handles down. That's not how bull markets act, folks. So that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, I want to show you one exciting market, folks. Uh, 
I talk about this all the time, but nobody flat out believes me. But here's what we're going to be looking at this morning. This is natural gas. And I've been talking about this for three days, maybe longer. Look at this big move we had from $9 to where we are, folks. That was a $25,000 move in two days. Do you realize how many points that is in the S&P, folks? That's 500 handles in the S&P. So that's, uh, oh, oh, let's try it again, Larry. That is uh, one, two, three, four, 200, 300. Yeah, it's 200 handles in the S&P. So that's a big, um, those are big handles too. So that's what we're looking at here in the natural gas. But let me show you how it unfolded. This is what's really what's really exciting because we, we like pattern recognitions. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the 15-minute chart. We've shown this before, but it's good to remember repetition is the mother of knowledge. And hold on right here. And you'll be able to see, okay, here's where we are. You can see we made the ABCD up here at nine bucks. Okay, then we came down, we rallied to a 382. This was a $10,000 move, folks. This was a $12,000 move. The rally back today, you can't make this up, to the exact tick of the high that we made at $9. That came in at 941 and a half. I think the high was 942. Then it dropped to 949, uh, 09. I don't know where it is right now, but that's that's it. I mean, that's just amazing how this thing lines up. And you, in bear markets, folks, 382 patterns work like clockwork. I mean, they really do. You can, we've shown you it, you know different ones over different ones, but that's uh, that's the ma major thing that we want to be uh, talking about. Now, my goal for the 5th, 17th of May is to make money. Okay, and. Uh, we did our first one two, two years ago in September uh, when uh, some of these cryptos were very, very cheap. I think the uh, price of Bitcoin was around 3100 But uh, we had a couple others that were in there that uh, John Jameson was looking at. But if we look at this, this, is, this has got everything written on it, folks, that you could possibly ask for if you like patterns. I don't care. Whether you like Bitcoin or not, I don't care whether you think that it's a, a bubble or a bubble or a smubble or a double. I don't really care about that. All I'm doing here is looking at this pattern. And if I can make money off this for you folks, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be doing Bitcoin. I'm not going to be doing Ethereum. I'm going to be doing a couple other ones that we've been watching along the road. Uh, one is called uh, HBAR. It's trading for about I think it's trading for 10 cents right now. If we could buy that for a nickel, even though there is five cents, you know, we'll see whether it works or not. I don't know. But look at this pattern. You have a perfect A, B, C, D. I mean, folks, defy human nature. Do the work yourself. Measure the A, B, C, D, and also measure the time from the A leg to the B leg and measure the time from the C leg to the D leg. I think it would be quite interesting to see the fact that we went right up to that level at 66,000. The high was 67,100. And how did we come down? A, B, C, D. And then after that was finished, we had an A, B, C, D that took three months to form. And there we are. We hit it exactly at 48. We've been as low as 30, 30. I think we're 31 now. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the cash S&P. comes from our good friend, Alan Smith, over in uh, the UK. If you'll notice here, we had a beautiful, be you can see this beautiful pattern that we had, this butterfly top that was made. You had the ABCD perfectly lined up, uh, beautiful ABCD 1.618 expansion. You came down, you made a 78% retracement here. And now your ABCD measures down here to roughly 39.10, about 80 handles from where we are right now. Stop and think, folks. We went from the low last night at 60. We went up to 60. We rallied 100 handles and then down 60, 160 handle swing. And we haven't been trading three hours. Are you kidding me? That's called volatility. You know, so we got some more volatility down the road to pay attention to. But I believe we're going to get to this level very quickly quickly. During the break, I had two people uh, ask me a question. How did I come up with this number of May 22nd? Folks, it's very simple. The high that we made here on the Venus uh, opposite, Venus opposition uh, Uranus, which was zero degrees, that was on May the 5th. Okay. Now, in, in October the 2nd of 1987, the market went down into the crash of the 19th that was 17 trading days okay so let's let's try that again larry it's 17 calendar days so if we take 17 calendar days from may 5th that takes us to may the 22nd which also happens to be tommy john's birthday out of Terre Haute, indiana anyway that's what we're watching and that's all i'm looking at all this works unless we get above 4,100. If we close above 4,100 in the S&P today, tomorrow, the next day, any time between May now and May the 22nd, this, this uh, sequence is wrong. So that's all I'm mentioning to you is uh, for what it's worth. And that's why it's important, and I wanted to share it with you. So hold on here just a minute here. I've got a couple other charts that I, I think are, are relatively important. One of them I spoke about on Tommy's program. Here, and it, it, this is an interesting one, folks, because we don't do cross rates very often. In other words, we just use the dollar versus the major currency, but we have one right now, which is the uh, euro uh, versus the pound. 
And if you get up here, you'll see that the euro has been gaining to the pound quite a bit. So what we're going to be doing now is uh, we're going to be shorting the euro, which we already are short the euro. But we're going to be looking to buy the British pound because the euro pound should start moving in the opposite direction. This is important because the pound must hold above 122 uh, even. We got as low as 123 earlier today, but it's got to stay above 122 in order for this cross rate to work. Now, I'm not, uh, well, let's put it this way. I trade foreign exchange a great deal. I don't usually do cross rates because everything I do is related to the euro, the pound, the yen, the Canadian dollar, and the Australian dollar. Those are the ones that you know mean the most from my perspective and that that's all I'm really looking at so I hope that gives you a perspective of what I'm doing as I as I watch some of these things I've got to get to the Treasury bonds uh, to talk about them but I also wanted to uh, bring up the uh, the Australian dollar here if you'll give me a second here I believe it's here somewhere Nope, that's the natural gas. Just a second, where is it? I think it's this one right here. Nope, that's natural gas. We've been watching natural gas so much, folks. I, I have. There's the one I want. Here's the here's the Australian dollar. I want to get this up here, and show you because this is a really interesting one. Remember, we had a big short sale up there at 76. We've now broken nine handles. Uh, we're below 69 now. You can see the 382 retracements again. Perfect 382. Perfect 3A2. This sets up an A, B, C, D down around 67. So what does that mean? Well, the Australian dollar is usually associated with commodities. So if the Australian dollar is weakening, that usually means commodity prices are weakening. We're seeing it in copper, iron ore, and some other things. But we're also seeing it in wheat, a little bit in wheat. Pretty big, pretty big moves in soybean oil and soybeans to the downside, uh, 50 cents lower or so in corn. But you know that's a that's a huge market, and 50 cents seems like a lot of money, only 2,500 dollars. But these markets have been going wacko, and this is just the beginning of inflation, folks. This might be a little pause that we're going to see, but uh, you don't want to rule this out because there's a strong probability if we have any type of a crop problem. Coming in this coming year, uh, we're looking at something that's going to be really, really nasty. Now, I want to switch gears here for just a minute and talk about the Russell. I know it's the, it's the Russell 2000, but if we look at this, this comes from one of our friends over at Stock Market Charts and also uh, All-Star Charts with J.C. Parrots. You'll see here the old highs that we had back here. You can see where the euro went to. As long as that euro can stay above that level, that's going to be an important level. But going below that level, uh, and that's what that's 217, I believe, is going to be really, really important. So watch that very closely. I, Well, I keep repeating myself, but repetition is the mother of knowledge. And perspiration is the inspiration behind innovation. I think that was... Uh, Henry Ford, as I recall. Okay, now let's just talk about something that is super important, and that is the Treasury bond market, folks, because something big has happened to Treasuries. Let me just show you. Again, we're going to be taking a look at this. Here is the daily chart. Uh, you know, we, we've been bearish since way back at 164. There was the last 382 retracement. There was another one. There was another one right here. But look what happened now. You can see this large... A, B, C, D to the downside. Folks, that is a major pattern down here. We hit it 134.29. We rallied five handles to 139 and change. Uh, and we did it with increasing open interest. And that is new buying, folks. This market is uh, many, many times bigger than the stock market. So whether they are using a flight to quality or whatever they want to look at, maybe it's a dead cat bounce in a bear market. All I know is buyers came in, to the in the bond market yesterday. And you didn't know that until late last night at 9 o'clock uh, my time, which is uh, 12 o'clock New York time, when the open interest figures came out. And you could see that the Treasury notes, two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years, all had big increases in open interest. That's new buying, folks, coming at a level that's very, very low. We're looking for a pretty substantial rally off of this. How much of a rally? God only knows, and she's not telling.
So those are the main things that we're paying attention to right now. I believe interest rates have peaked. Uh, let's not say that again. <laughs> let's try. <laughs> interest rates haven't even begun to peak. We hit 3.26 in the 30-year T-bond. I believe we're going to see 6% T-bonds once again. And that is going to put a crimp in the U.S. dollar because the government's got to pay that interest. And the only way they're going to do that, folks, is to print money. And when they print money, that means gold and silver are going to go up in price. And that's why you want to get ready to buy some silver and buy some gold. Let me take just a moment here to show you the silver chart on the long-term weekly because I think we're we're under 22 now easily. So what I want you to really watch watch this chart because when we get back for the break we have to discuss it. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding the reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a weekly chart of silver. You can see this level here at $20 an ounce. We're at $21.75 right now. Um, uh, really strong possible triple bottom in here, but I think it's going to fail and come down to this level, which would get gold maybe under $1,800 one more time. Uh, now, we've been short gold now for several weeks. Uh, we're trying to cover that today here at uh, 1832. We've been as low as 1844. You still want to try to cover it there. That's a long term ABCD on the weekly, folks, uh, in the gold market. Those of you that uh, belong to the uh, 
24-7 group. Trade what you see. I'll bring it up here so you can see it here. Sorry, folks, the Palo Verdes are playing havoc with the old cowboy today, but it'll be better. I just took a antihistamine. We have a beautiful 20-minute line coming in here right around this level here at 18.32, folks. So that's a 61% retracement. It might fail, and we might get all the way down to here, but right now is where you take your stand. Going to cover our shorts at that point. That would be a $90 move on one of them and a $70 move on the second position. And so that's what we're trying to do today is to cover at the 18.32 level in the gold market. Okay, now let's go in and cover a couple things that people have asked about from Tommy's show that I did earlier today, and that is the FANG stocks. Some of them are so very, very important, and none other than the one that has completed all the patterns, folks. If you believe in patterns, and I do believe in patterns, especially, you know what, A, B equals C, D. There's A, there's B, there's C. And there's D. This is a weekly, and you'll notice that the low on point D came within $2 of the exact move at 22.16 or something like that. I can't read it because it's too small, but it was an absolute perfect A, B, C, D. All right, now let's look at a few others because they're all important. Some are more important than others, of course. But let's take a look here at Softy. This is 13%. This between Apple and Microsoft, there's 13% of the S&P 500. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Here we go. This is why I still think we're going to go down some more, folks. This is a beautiful pattern unfolding here. Look at this. It's going to go down here to 242. That's another 10%. So that's what you got to be watching here. This is a beautiful pattern. Look, you had a perfect 61% retracement here. Then you have the 382 Gartley right here. And look what you're going. You're going to, you know, 242 in the uh, Microsoft. Now, if this thing reversed and, and re, you know reversed everything and we got about 4,100 in the S&P, then that, that's different. That's not going to happen. But right now, that's exactly what's happening. Now, look at Tesla. I mean, it's, it's above $800 today. At least it was a little bit earlier. But as you look at this pattern here in Tesla, it's been bearish for quite some time. You can see we had lower tops all the way through here. The last one was right at a 78% level. And, you know, just straight up, you know, into that run right here, right up to 78. And then look, you have lower tops, 382, 382, bada bing, bada boom. The low yesterday was right at the exact 786, a normal spot for it to stay. But the problem is we had that big gap down. I don't think this is over yet, folks. It doesn't look like it to me. I think we're still going to go lower. Does that mean that uh, something's going to happen to Tesla? No, it just means the stock's going to go a little bit lower. I don't know anything about the Twitter situation, and I don't intend to know anything about it. But since we talked about Microsoft being, uh, along with uh, Apple, being 13% of the S&P 500, we need to look at Apple. And Apple was up sharply today, around 4 or $5 at one time. You can see the high we made five days ago, exactly at the 382 retracement. And that makes an A, B, C, D down here quite a bit lower. Uh, in Apple, which would get it down into the area of, uh, I think, about another $20 lower. No, $30 lower would get it down into the 110 level. And then we would have a pretty good uh, buying beautiful ABCD on the long term, just like we did here, folks. You see, we still had that ABCD. But when you have a move like this, this means this ABCD missed it by that amount. This amount right here, it missed it by that amount. There's nothing you can do about that. When you start seeing this happening, you know that something's, you know, something's going on. And look, you go up, almost make new highs, bada bing, bada boom, and then boom, down you come. So, gotta love these markets, folks. Just really love these markets. Okay, let's move on to another one here that I think is important. By the way, if you want to call in, I'll be happy to answer any questions. 877-927-6648. Uh, Next one we're going to look at, folks, is none other than uh, Facebook. 
We're going to have a GoFundMe page for Mr. Zuckerberg very shortly. I'm working on it right now. You can see the big gap down here, the 38% retracement, the equal moves. You see the equal move right here and the equal move right there. Those were absolutely perfect. And now we're drifting lower and we're probably going to go down at least to, uh, you know, to uh, one digit, uh, two digits. $99 a share is what my guess is in uh, in Facebook. So and it's 190 or something now. What is it? No, 196 right now. So that's still quite a ways uh, to go. All right. Now we got another one we want to look at. This was a, this one's in big trouble, folks. I, this is like the blockbuster entertainment stock that we had many years ago that went tapioca. This is the net skip net, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> time out okay you can see the ABCD pattern that we had up here the moves down here is the really bad news came out on subscriptions the market rallied guess where folks 382 of this high right here as you can see down exactly 382 up into here down 382 up into here and now we're way below the 1.618 expansion at 199 here again, you're looking at at least a $90 stock or possibly even a lot less uh, in the Netflix. So that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's move on here to the next one we want to cover, which is the Google. Beautifully, tech, uh, absolutely incredible technical chart. Get it up here. So you folks have seen this before, but we're going to see it again. You can see that we had a three drive to a top pattern up in here. Then we had the one, three, five lower tops. It's a pattern we got from Roy Longstreet and his son, Bill. Bada bing, bada boom. We come down. Beautiful. Look at this ABCD, folks. A, B, C, D. And then the news comes out uh, right here where they're going to do a 10 for one. Uh, stock split and the earnings were great and there was never going to be any down ticks in Google and what does it do it goes and makes an A B C D down several hundred points lower and we're we, this is very important because we're below that key level here now folks that means we got a little bit more to go to the downside this last rally didn't even make a 382 retracement so this is not over yet folks I think it's getting close and when we do and when we do, we're going to get one hellacious short covering rally. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it works out. But that's neither here nor there. And we got a, a break coming up now. I believe someone's alerting me to the fact that there it is. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and believe it or not, we have a caller that snuck through all the busy lines, and it's Helen from Largo, Florida. Helen, how are you? I'm fine, Larry. It's so good to hear your voice. Yeah, and, it's, uh, been a, it's been a you know, long time, for heaven's sake. I'm saying What's you give such valuable information. I'm so, so you know, happy with this. I uh, was wondering about Heckler. Hecla mining, God, boy, did that bring back a lot of memories. I uh, was involved in silver, you know, since I first, first started trading, you know, really heavily, you know, back in 63, 64, 65, 66. That was 18, not 19. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I've been involved with this a long time. I don't know much about it anymore. All I know is that if you get silver down to uh, about a buck and a half lower than where it is right now, I don't think mm -hmm. it makes any difference which of those mining companies you buy they're going to be okay because inflation is here to stay. Silver is going to probably outperform gold because it's cheaper and the public will want to get into it just like they did before. In other words, we can see silver from 20 to at least back to 50 where I don't think gold is going to get much above 2,800 to 3,000. So I do like silver long term, but uh, I'd wait till it got to $20 uh, an ounce, Helen, and then I would start buying Hecla. And uh, then okay. you can put your stop in after that. I even I had the last time I saw Heckler, it was eight dollars a share, and that's been more than ten years ago that I even looked at it because I'm not a stock person, as you uh, probably know. So where is the price of Heckler, by the way? Uh, I believe it's five five dollars and uh, forty cents or something like that. Uh, okay. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. So if it gets down to about four dollars, uh, I think it's a pretty good. It's a it's a it's a one of the better silver mining companies. Uh, I I know they have still have good uh, you know supply up there. It's not being a, you know it's not a burned out mine or anything like that because they have several locations. So I think it's okay. I tell you what I will do as we get closer to that price of twenty dollars, mm -hmm. I'll make okay. it a feature. I just I wrote a note here that we will start looking at Hecla Mining for Helen from Largo. How does that sound? I would appreciate. That that's very good. And listen, your May twenty second does that apply to the gold as well? It applies to everything. There's a big cycles everything? out okay. there. They, they start on the fifteenth. There is a thing called the blood moon, and it's related to a lunar eclipse. Uh, Mr. Winsky told me, and also Shane told me, and uh, so uh, we'll be watching that very closely. So the time frame between the fifteenth of May and the twenty second of May, I think you're going to see so, a lot of fireworks. Probably be a time where you want to be able to buy, but you'll be so afraid you'll just have to close your eyes and put the order in, <laughs> would be my guess, but who knows? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Larry. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Helen. And you enjoy that wonderful area down there. That's where Mr. O'Brien used to live, and I, I really like Largo. I thought it was a really cool place. Do you, I know, do you live, I know. Do you live on so the much, water? Larry. Do you live on the water there? 
No, I, I really kind of stay away from that with these hurricanes. You never know where they're going to come. You know? Oh, gosh, so, yeah. But we've been yeah. lucky. I've been here since 74. So wow. uh, we've really wow. been lucky. That's, that's, that's really good. Well, Al, our technician, lives in Largo, and uh, he loves it too, so I know it's a great place. So thanks for joining us today, Helen. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. You bet. Okay, folks, uh, getting back to the uh the troubles that may and we're looking at in the market today uh, the numbers that we're looking at on the downside I posted the number for the S&P that number for the ABCD comes in at 3920 3920 where we've broken the 40 handle several times now we're trading below it substantially now so 3920 uh, I would uh, you know I would definitely you know cover any short positions that you have there but the but the market if it's going to rally the key number to watch is 4100 or really close to that number 4100 and the e mini S&P because that would be breaking a significant uh, retracement level. In other words, it would be up more than 140 points, and we haven't had a 140-point rally. 135 has been our biggest rally so far. So if we get above that 140 or 4100, that would be a 140-point rally off the bottom, whatever that bottom is going to be, and that would tell us that we're pretty close to, uh, you know, a pretty substantial rally. Will we make new highs? I don't think so because I think too much has been done, damage has been done to the NASDAQ and so many of these other stocks like Rivian and uh, Peloton and Robinhood and so many of these other uh, companies have just been uh, just been hit really bad. And they continue to be hit bad. And that's not a good sign for a bull market. But there's going to be a bull market in something somewhere. That's what Warren Buffett says, and he's a pretty smart dude. So that's what we're, we're playing for is that particular move to see what's going on. Now, I wanted to uh, share with you, I don't believe I had a chance to pull up the chart of the FTSE because this, this market's acting really nicely. I mean, I, I can't even believe that the FTSE is, uh, you know, held up this, this well because the economy in the UK is uh, certainly not as good as our economy here. But uh, that is what you're seeing now. There's the FTSE. You can see the beautiful ABCD low right here. We did have a pretty good rally in it today. I'll, I'll cover that uh, on the upbeat tomorrow. But uh, also the uh, German DAX, I've, I've talked about it in the previous show on Tommy's show this morning. That's also held up extremely well. So even though they're talking about the end of the world and some of these things, folks, don't believe them. There's going to be some good rallies, great opportunities. And I believe some of the greatest opportunities will be in the cryptocurrency markets. Going to be covering that on the 17th of May for sure. So uh, I hope you'll be able to join me on that. I'm going to keep doing commercials on it until the day it ends, folks, because I'd love to have the biggest crowd as possible to help support TFNN. They do a great job putting all, everybody together in this wonderful trading den that they have. And boy, they got some smart people down there, folks, in that trading den. It's, uh, it's, really, uh, it's really amazing to see how well, uh, how well they do uh, with these things. Okay, now I wanted one other one to uh, mention. Oh, someone's asked a question about the cryptocurrencies and why wouldn't I be buying Bitcoin or why wouldn't I be buying Ethereum? Folks, my whole my whole premise of doing this is risk control. If I buy Bitcoin and say 20,000, it goes to 10, that's a big hit. But if I buy something for a nickel and it goes to zero, you're only going to lose a nickel. So that's the main thing that I'm focusing on is to buy something really, really cheap and buy a lot of it. And if it loses, it loses. But I'm not going to sit there and buy, you know, 20 shares or 100 shares of Bitcoin at 20,000 and watch it go to 10 or five or two or one, whatever it happens to be. I don't want to risk very much. In September, a year and a half ago, we recommended, John recommended the buying of Cardano, ADA, at six cents a share. Stayed there for a week, folks. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you what that stock did over the next uh, year and a half. And believe me, I've watched John trade it. And I know there were people in the room that bought it because they emailed me and told me that they bought it. And they made 80 times their money. And that's that, that's a 80 bagger, folks. That's the kind you like to get. I don't know if this is going to be like that again or not. Hell, nobody does. But we're going to have some fun looking at it. That's for sure. Hey, we got a break coming up. And the end of the show is coming in. And we'll see you folks on the flip side tomorrow. But we got a break. And after the break, I want to 
do one other thing, repeat it one more time, because I think it's important, and that is the day count of what we're looking at, and that's important. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market markets real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E-mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to show this for the very last time today. Maybe we'll show it again tomorrow. This is the, uh, the format of what I'm looking at here from 1987, the time count down into the solar eclipse, up into the Venus-Uranus uh, conjunction, which was uh, the 5th of May. You add 17 days to that. In 1987, that took you to October 19th. If you add 17 days to May 5th, that takes you to the 22nd of May. If that works out, I'll look for the next one. If it doesn't, uh, the reason why is the S&P will glow above 4,100 between now and then. And then that means the low came in a lot earlier and the sequence of events has been broken. There is a possibility that we could see something really dramatic, some type of an outlier event that is uh, out there. It could be, uh, uh, you know, the crazy stuff that's going on in the Ukraine, maybe a, a nuclear uh, warhead of some kind. Oh, my God, some more COVID. I mean, you can name it. Uh, 
<laughs> there's so many things that could happen in these words, uh, the times that we live in now. It, it's just amazing. But let's keep an eye on this. Uh, that's all it is. It's just a simple time count based on these cycles that uh, Shane and I have looked at over a period of time. I started looking at these in 86. That's what got me interested in astrology was this particular pattern. I happen to be on the old FNN in Los Angeles at the time with Bill Griffith, and I predicted that the Dow would be down more than 500 points uh, during the uh, more than 300 points sometime during the month of October, and it was down 550 points. But that was when it was trading it at 2620, folks. The low of that October 2nd, uh, October 19th was uh, 1660, uh, which was an exact 61% retracement of the low of April of, of August the 9th of 1982, making it the best buying opportunity of the 1980s. And I think we'll probably be looking it's something similar to that in the cryptocurrencies when we get to that point, hopefully down there around the 15th to the 22nd of, uh, of May. So that's it for today. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, and may God bless.